what's up kingdom kids it's your girl yada and i'm here with a word from our good father yes your father has sent me with a word y'all now i don't know who needs this but god says somebody needs this message so i come through to bless the kingdom okay and listen if you're new here hi welcome 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 we welcome you to be a part of this family so don't leave without hitting that subscribe button that way you never miss a video okay and if this message blesses you in any way please feel free to hit the like button and if the holy spirit leads you to don't leave without comment or sharing a video okay we definitely want to share the video guys we want to make sure this reaches whomever the lord intends for it to reach amen all right now family listen i have already prayed and blessed this space all right y'all know how i get down baby i done prayed and welcome the holy spirit in and welcome the good lord in right but father god i still ask that you step in father god and speak through me i'm your vessel father god speak to your children today and make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended in jesus name amen all right, family, again, I don't know who needs this word today, but God said you need this thing. So whoever this is for, I pray that it reaches you. I pray that it comforts you and I pray that it blesses you. Okay. Now, guys, please remember to get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit. But whoever this is for, this should serve as a confirmation. Okay. So God is saying right now, guys, he said to make the call. And listen to me, whoever you are, your father said, it is time to make the call. I don't know if this is something you're going through now or something to come, but I'm going to give you this thing how God gave it to me, okay? So whoever you are, wherever you are, okay, your father said, it is time to make the call. Okay, you've been trying to face this situation alone. You've been going for what you know, amen. You've been going for what you know. And some of you guys, listen to me now. God says some of you guys are suffering through it. You're suffering through the challenge. You're suffering through the trial. You're suffering through this thing. And you're telling yourself, nothing worked. It comes easy. Your father's saying, baby, you have a kingdom privilege to call on the name Jesus. Come on now, who is the Lord speaking to today, baby? He said, it is time to make that call. Call him. You will not be put to shame. Do you hear me? God say, use your kingdom privilege. Come on now. Come on now, believers. God say, you have the kingdom privilege to call on Jesus. Why are you not calling on Jesus? Come on now. You have tried to do it by yourself, but you don't have to. Come on. You don't have to do this thing by yourself. You don't have to face this storm alone. Come on now. You know as a believer, as a kingdom kid, as a child of God, you have the privilege to call on Jesus. And we know Jesus, baby, that name has power. Amen. The name of Jesus has power. So when you start to use that name, we know he was saved. Come on now. He said, call up on him, baby, and he will save. Come on now. He went, he went. When you call upon the name Jesus, impossible things become possible. This is when he put his grace upon your grind. Amen. He'll speak to storms and they will see. So as a believer, God is like, why are you not calling on Jesus? Why have you not made that call, baby? I don't know what you're faced with, but God is saying right now, baby, it is time to make that call. It's time to call upon Jesus. Come on now. He said you will not be put to shame. Come on now. You've been trying to muscle your way through this. You've been trying to prove them wrong. You want to show this one and show that one. God said, go on, put that ego and that pride aside. Come on now. He said, put that ego and that pride aside and make the call. I don't know who this word is for, baby. But your father is saying right now, baby, make the call. Listen, if you know this thing is for you and you've been hesitating, you ain't been, you know, you ain't made that call, and it's time to make that call. God say, go on, make that call. Come on, somebody say, make the call. It is time to make the call, y'all. I don't know who you are, but your father say it is time to make that call. Come on, somebody say that thing out loud. Say, make the call. Come on, even, even put it is time on there. Come on, somebody say it is time. Come on, stamp that thing. Let them know now it's the time. When you see this video, God is saying now it's the time to make the call. Come on now. You will not be put to shame, child. You are, you, you are his beloved. He can't wait for you to make the call. Come on now. He can't wait for you to get him involved. Amen. God said it is time to make the call. 
It's time to call up on Jesus, y'all. It's time to call up on Jesus. Come on now. You've been asking God to give you the strength to get through it. He said, call up on Jesus and watch him make that impossible thing possible. Amen. He said, call up on him. Come on. Somebody say, it's time to make the call. Say that thing out loud, family. Then go down there in the comments and type it out. Come on now. Encourage yourself today. Say, it is time to make the call. Come on, somebody say that thing out loud for me. Say it out loud. Say it with your chest, baby. Say it is time to make the call. I know you've been going for what you know. Uh huh. You felt like you could handle this, but baby, it is a Jesus job. Come on now. That is a job for the Lord. Come on now. He could handle that thing. Do you hear me? It's time to make that call. Go down there in the, in the comments and type that thing out. Type it out for you and your brothers and sisters. So when they go and see your comment, they'll be encouraged as well. Come on now. That they'll go ahead and make that call also. Come on now. Somebody say it's time to make the call. Listen to me, y'all. I'm telling y'all, God say, y'all tell them. It is time to bring the problem to Jesus. It is time to bring this, this issue to Jesus. It is time to bring, if you could be confused, you may just need support. But God is saying, it's time to bring it to Jesus. You don't have to get to the next level alone. Come on now. God is saying right now, call up on him and make that call, baby. I don't know who it was this for, but God is saying, baby, think about, about uh uh when you have a problem with the with your toilet or or with your car, you call a specialist. You call someone who 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 specializes in this thing, right? A technician and a plumber or a mechanic. God is saying right now, this is a Jesus job, baby. Get it to the Lord. Why are you trying to handle something that it's not for you to handle? Come on now. It is not yours. Amen. God said that is a job for Jesus. He can handle that. Come on now. The Lord can handle it. Do you hear me? You're going to have to make that call, baby. Stand on kingdom business is a privilege. It is a privilege. Why are you not using your privilege? It is a privilege to be able to call on Jesus and things start to move and, and, and mountains start to move and, 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 and he'll speak and, and, and storms will cease, baby. That is a privilege. You ought to make that call. Come on now. It is time for you to make the call. Amen. You're making this thing harder than it has to be. You have that privilege, baby. Utilize that privilege. And listen, y'all, let me get y'all some scripture and I'm going to let y'all go. I don't know who needs this thing, baby, but I pray that it reaches you, okay? And I pray that it blesses you because it blessed me when God gave it to me, all right, y'all? Listen, I love y'all so, so much, okay? Let me get y'all this scripture, family. So God led us to Romans 10. Romans 10 verses 11 through 13. Again, Romans 10 verses 11 through 13. I encourage you guys to go back and read it and let it bless you, okay? So it reads, it says, as scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is the Lord of all and richly blesses all who calls upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Come on now, listen to me now. God didn't say everyone who prayed. He didn't say everyone who fasts, everyone who go to church. It said everyone who call up on his name. I don't know who you are, but he wants you to know today, baby, is it as simple as a call. Come on now. He said one call, that's all. Amen. One call, that's all. Call up on his name. He said, and blessings will pour out. Come on now. It said he richly blesses all. Come on now. Not some. All who call up on his name and everyone who call up on his name will be saved. And to call up on his name, you got to believe. Amen. That's a fate move, baby. Calling upon the name of Jesus is a fate move, okay? That's showing that you not only believe that he can, but also he will. Right? Not just saying, oh, he can help. I know he will. Come on now. Do you know that Jesus not only can help you, but he will? If you know that, baby, you ought to make that call. Come on now. You ought to make that call, okay? Like I said, this is not for a certain group of people. It said everyone. This is not my words. This is scripture. It said everyone who calls upon his name. So I'm telling you right now, baby, all you have to do is make that call. Okay. One call. That's all. Amen. One call. That's all. Listen, y'all. Somebody type that out. Say one call. That's all. Come on. Say that thing out loud. Say it out loud. Then type it out. Come on. Say one call. That's all. Come on now. When you're working with Jesus in the kingdom, using your kingdom privilege, how, what does it take? How many calls to him? One call. That's all. Come on now. Somebody say that thing out loud with me. You ready? One call. That's all. 
call, baby. I don't know who you are, but I pray that this word reaches you, and I pray that it's a blessing, okay? Because your father say it is time to make the call. You don't have to get through this thing alone. You don't have to prove anything. You have the privilege of calling on Jesus, okay? He will make that impossible thing possible. Amen. Listen, I don't know who you are, but baby, listen, I love y'all. I love each and every one of you guys. I thank God for you. Okay. I thank you for being a part of the family. And I thank you for being a part of my journey and allowing me to be a part of your journey. Okay. Thank you guys so much for the love, the comments, the likes, the shares, the new subscribers. Hey family, I see y'all. What's up to the new followers on TikTok? Welcome, welcome, welcome guys. Listen, I thank you guys so, so much for being a part of the family. Family, okay listen uh i have received your prayer request i have received your prayer request i did um reply to a lot of them on yesterday i'm off from work today so i may go ahead and uh reply so i think it's a few more but guys i am praying for you i am lifting you up i'm praying for your families and it's amazing on how many of you guys are not just asking for prayer for yourself, but you're asking for prayers for others. That's amazing. God bless you, okay? You're the real MVP, all right? You're the real MVP, y'all. Listen, I have to go, but I just want to let you guys know I'm praying for you, okay? Even if I don't reply to your prayer request, no, I'm praying for you. I only reply to what the Holy Spirit leads me to reply to, but I am praying for you, okay? Listen, guys, I thank you so, so much for the sowing of seeds, for the donations for the gifts that you guys have been sending in i thank you for your generosity for giving to the ministry and giving to god's vision for what he's going to do here with us as a ministry and as a family i thank you i thank you i thank you and i pray that god will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive amen it is in jesus name that i'm praying for you guys okay all right now family listen y'all go out and live a blessed life you know the blessed life comes from first being a blessed 